evaluate the limit as x tends to infinity of the expression 1 plus 4 over x raised to the 5x power. So let's start by rewriting this limit so that we can apply the Plyer's algorithm. We're going to have 1 plus 4 over x raised to the power of 5x. As we let x tend to infinity, this becomes, in parentheses, 1 plus 4 over infinity raised to well, the 5 times infinity power. So in the, this expression is 0, so we have 1 raised to an infinite power, and that's type C indeterminant, which means we need to rewrite the limit as an exponential. So we'll keep this as the limit as x tends to infinity. We'll write this as e to the ln of the base, 1 plus 4 over x, times the power of 5x. And now we're going to move the limit up to the exponent, since the exponential function is continuous. So we're going to have e to the limit as x tends to infinity of rearranging 5x times ln of 1 plus 4 over x. Or 4 to the x, 4 times x to the minus 1. Since I know we're going to be applying some calculus here, it's better to prep this thing. So let's bracket off this exponent and focus our attention on the limit up here. So let's do some scratch work here. The limit as x tends to infinity of 5x times ln of 1 plus 4x to the minus 1. If we let x tend to infinity, we're going to have 5 times infinity, which is infinity. And then we're going to have ln of 1 plus 4 times infinity to the minus 1. Now remember that infinity to the minus 1 is 1 over infinity, so that's just a 0. So we're going to have infinity times ln of 1, which is infinity times 0, and that's type B indeterminate. So a type B indeterminate form means we need to rewrite the original limit as a fraction. Um, since we've got an x to the minus 1 in the numerator, it makes sense to maybe bring the x out in front and write it in that same form. We might get a cancellation later on. So let's write this as, uh, as 5 times ln of 1 plus 4 x to the minus 1, and we'll bring the x to below as x to the minus 1. Now we've got to check that this will work. We're going to have 5 times ln of 1 plus 4 times infinity to the minus 1 over infinity to the minus 1. Uh, we've seen that the numerator was 0 and the denominator is 0. Since it's 1 over infinity, that means it's type A indeterminate. And if you're type A indeterminate, you can be hit with the L'Hopital stick. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule. We're going to have the limit as x tends to infinity. We'll replace the top by the derivative of the top. That will be 5 comes along for the ride, 1 over 1 plus 4 times x to the minus 1 times the derivative of 4x to the minus 1, which would be negative 4 times x to the minus 2. The bottom will be the derivative of this, minus 1 times x to the minus 2, and there's our limit according to L'Hopital's rule. Now let's look for some simplifications and cancellations. The x to the minus 2 can be canceled from top and bottom, and the two negatives can become a positive, and so if we clean this up, we're going to have the limit as x tends to infinity of 5 times 4, 20, over 1 plus 4 times x to the minus 1. And now we can apply the limit process again. If we let x tend off to infinity, we're going to have 20 over 1 plus 4 times infinity to the minus 1. Once again, the reciprocal of infinity is 0. And so we're going to have 20 over 1, which is just the number 20. Since that's a real number, it's the limit in pink. But remember, that's not the answer, that was just this part up here. If we replace what's in those brackets by 20, we get e to the power 20 as the final limit. So the original limit converges to e to the 20th power.